A 20-year-old female presented with complaints of sudden onset of shortness of breath and chest pain. Patient complained similar complaints uh, in the past more at night time. All right, sudden onset and chest pain. Her vitals are uh, respirations are 34, pulse rate is 92, blood pressure is 110 by 70. On auscultation, bilateral diffuse V's is present. Arterial blood gas analysis shows PCO2 of 44, PO2 of 60, pH of 7.35. She was given oxygen flow at 2 liters. All right, so looks like this patient is having asthma, right? Um, because she has been having shortness of breath, chest pain and also complaints in the past right now she was therefore she was given a bronchodilator and another drug which increases sensitization to beta agonists by increasing the beta receptors and a third drug which decreases the prostaglandins and eulucotrienes okay then identified this third drug with above description that was given to this patient right so uh the for the asthma treatment what do you give? You give a beta agonist, right? A bronchodilator and a corticosteroid, right? So if you see here, the third drug, now bronchodilator, that's already given. Beta agonist is, you know, this drug which increases sensitization to beta uh, agonist by increasing the beta receptors, right? And the corticosteroid is the uh, one which whose mechanism of action includes that it inhibits the synthesis of one is the cytokines and also inactivates the transcription factor of NF kappa beta kappa B right what does this do if when it this inact when it, this is inactivated it will decrease the production of TNF alpha and other inflammatory or agents. Thereby, it will reduce the inflammation and also relaxes the inflammation. There, thereby, it's relaxing the um, bronchodilation because the edema inflammation is reduced. That's why it will uh, 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 give you relief. And also, it uh, other inflammatory agents, right? Therefore, it will also decrease the prostaglandins as well as the leukotrienes. That is why your right answer will be the butesonide, right? Uh, theophylline is no more uh, used nowadays for asthma uh, treatment, but nevertheless, its mechanism of action is it inhibits the phosphodiesterases and thereby it decreases the CAMP hydrolysis right that means camp is activated cmp is activated and therefore which causes bronchodilation right so that will be its action so no ipratropium is your muscarinic antagonist no and montelicus is your leukotriene antagonist it does not have any action on prostaglandins that is why this is not your right answer 